Someone recently told me I looked like a mix between Lord Voldemort slash Katie Lang slash Prince William. All of which are extremely manly, so I want to talk about what the world would be like if I was king of the earth. If I was king of the world, the first three things I would honestly do are relieve Africa of its debt, put an end to every violent war, and ban attractive people from dating websites. It's not fair! That's pretty noble of me, eh? I have what they call the Malcolm X Factor. And now I'm sick of people bullying Canada, so as king of the world, I would pay to have everything in Canada flipped upside down, and we would change the name of the country to Upside Down Land. And in Upside Down Land, ceiling fans are on the floor. And it's terrifying. If I was king of the world, I'd put an end to all lame marketing schemes. Like when a book is turned into a movie, then they re-release the book with pictures of actors on the cover. If I was king of the world, I'd put an end to stupid cliches about love. They say true love is hard to find. It's not though, it's just that people who don't have putrid faces who actually like you back are hard to find. <sighs> Chivalry's not dead, ladies. It's just creepy and weird. If I was king of the world, I'd ban the ritual of dating. I've been dating a lot recently, and it's really cutting into my farting time. As king of the world, I would want my citizens to do well in their lives, so our life motto would be, if at first you don't succeed, you're a loser. If I was king of the world, any kid who claimed they were as snug as a bug in a rug would get smacked with a shoe. It's nothing personal, it's just what I do to bugs. What would you do about all the pollution in the world? Uh, ever heard of Captain Planet? He's our hero. Gonna take pollution down to zero. So shut up. Why do you have the same voice as me? If I was king of the world, I'd no longer have to use romance to trick girls into thinking I'm worth dating. Honestly, I swear women think my name is Ew. Now, if I was king of the world, I'd have no problem with the ladies. Right now, they say things like, I like a man who likes adventure. Women say they love adventure, but none of them ever call me back when I push them off cliffs. Well, the night is coming to an end, so girl, you want to go back to your place instead of mine? Some weirdo lives in my apartment. I live alone. Get it? I'm the weirdo? Well, I'm out, and I recommend cartwheeling around naked in your living room. Now, before I go, folks, I just wanted to show you this. I dug this out of my parents' drawer. It's a book I wrote in grade one called If I Was the King of the World, and it was the inspiration for this monologue. There's the cover there. It's me with a crown, and I have a gun for some reason. Um, and I'll read the book to you right now. So basically he's talking about what the world would be like if I was king. Um, the first page says, Lions are superheroes. And I can't tell if that's a balaclava on the burglar, um, or if I was just a racist. The next page says, We are went to Ireland every day. And I think that's me with the muscles. Um, Due to my grammar mistakes, you could tell I was an idiot, but here's the surprise ending. Everything is upside down, then P hits us in the face. And this guy's saying, oh no, because he's getting peed on. I don't know why he was getting peed on, but that is a serious, honest to God book that I wrote in grade one. I just want to thank Miss Buckle for not putting me in that crazy class with Kevin McEwen. Sorry, Kevin McEwen.